Okay, so stop me if you've heard this one before. A developer walks into a room full of stakeholders in a project kickoff meeting. After listening to about two minutes of the problem, they immediately start spitting out a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo, assuming they already know exactly what to do. This scenario is unfortunately all too common amongst developers. And while it may seem like communication isn't that important for people who work primarily alone behind a computer screen, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, communication skills are just as important for developers as they are for any other profession. We work on projects with tight deadlines and need to be able to communicate effectively with project managers, designers, content strategists, and other developers in order to get the job done. After years of experience in this space, here's my list of the top do's and don'ts when it comes to talking with clients. Number one, the absolute first step in effective communication is effective listening. It's important to remember that communication is a two-way street. In order to be an effective communicator, you need to be able to both speak and listen effectively. Listening carefully will help you understand the client's needs and ensure that you're on the same page. It'll also help you catch any misunderstandings early on before they come bigger problems. As a web developer, you'll be working with clients who may not have the technical expertise to explain all of the features and functions of their application. Take the time to hear everything they're saying and ask questions if you need clarification. Understanding the nuances of what the client is asking for is essential to communication. Number two, Avoid technical jargon when speaking to non-technical people. Once you have a clear understanding of the client's needs, it's time to start communicating your own ideas. Be clear and concise in your explanations and use layman's terms when possible. It's important to remember that most people simply don't care about the technical crap. Use a language that everyone can understand and avoid using acronyms or abbreviations that the client may not be familiar with. It's not the client's job to understand how a problem will be solved, so don't even try to explain it. Be patient explain things clearly, and use analogies when possible. Ah, yes, and speaking of analogies, number three, if you find yourself struggling to explain a concept, try using an analogy. Analogies can be a helpful way to explain complex ideas in simple terms. For example, if you're trying to explain the importance of having good data quality before relying on it to drive your application, you could say, the importance of having good data quality is like the importance of having a good foundation on your house. You wouldn't want to build your house on poor footing, right? The whole house would fall down. See how well that works? By using an analogy, you can take a complex concept and break it down into something much more understandable. Number four, this one's less of a topic and more of a lightning round of common developer communication disasters. Saying something is easy. Just because something is easy for you doesn't mean it's easy for everyone. When you're explaining a concept to someone, try to avoid just using the word easy. Starting to design solutions on the fly. It's important to take the time to really understand the problem before starting to design a solution. Otherwise, you may end up wasting time on a solution that doesn't actually solve the problem. Interrupting people. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but let people finish their thoughts before jumping in with your own ideas. You might not be hearing the full story. And finally, making assumptions. Never assume that you know what someone is thinking or that they understand what you're saying. This can lead to miscommunication and frustration on both sides. All right, so what do you think? Are you ready to practice these communication techniques? Communication is a skill that can be learned with practice. By following these tips, you can become a communications hero in no time. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there and start practicing. You can improve your communication skills and make sure that your next project is a success.